Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your second JavaScript and the DOM tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to go through the get element by ID method. Okay then, so if you're working with a DOM, then typically the first thing we need to do is reach into the web page and grab some kind of element which we want to update, change the HTML of, or whatever you want to do. The first step is always generally reaching into the DOM and grabbing an element. Essentially what we're doing is querying the DOM, right? Now there's loads of different ways we can do this. I'm gonna show you about four or five different ways we can do it over the first few lessons. And for the majority of those lessons, I'm gonna be working in the console over here on the right. So if you're in Google Chrome, which I hope you are, then you can click F12 to open up the developer tools. Then just click on this console tab and inside here we can run JavaScript, which is what I'm gonna be doing. We're also going to be using this elements tab, which gives us an outline of the whole HTML document right here. And we can see all the different nested elements within each one. So the first thing I want to show you is the document object. Now to do that, all we need to do is type in documents and click enter. And this is going to show us the document object provided by the browser. So if we open this up, we can see an entire outline of the whole document, which is really cool. So this is what JavaScript is using when it queries the DOM. And all of our different methods that we use to query the DOM are gonna be sitting on this document object, okay? So I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how to reach in and grab an element using an ID. So hopefully you know all about IDs. IDs are an attribute that we give to HTML elements to identify it if you like, and we can use those IDs in JavaScript to reach in and grab those elements. So for example, this div right here at the top has an ID of page banner. This one has an ID of book list, and this one of add book. Now typically, not typically in fact, in all cases, you only want to have one unique ID on each web page. So for example, I wouldn't have this ID of page banner and then another banner down here, which also has the ID of page banner. These IDs must be unique and associated to only one HTML element. Otherwise, some of these different methods that we use might throw up results you're not expecting, okay? So let's go in and grab this element first of all, this ID of page banner. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we say documents and then we're gonna use a method on this document object called get elements by ID. So to use a method dot first of all, then get elements by ID. And notice the camel case in here. Each word starts with a capital except the first one. All right. So this method takes in a parameter in these parentheses, and that's going to be the ID that we want. Now we want the ID page hyphen banner. So if I click enter now, what it's going to do is return to us this element. And now we've reached in and we've grabbed that node. So later on, I'm gonna show you how we can change this node, how we can change the text content or the HTML. We're gonna do this first of all, okay? So this is just one way of reaching in and grabbing an element from the document. And we could also store these in variables if we want to use them at a later time. For example, I could say var banner is equal to document dot get element by ID. And then inside here, we can pass in the page hyphen banner inside quotes, click enter. It's going to return undefined to begin with. But if we call the banner variable later on, we can see that this element is now stored within it. OK, so that is how we go in and grab an element by the ID. Let's just do one more ID as an example. I'm going to highlight this and copy it. Control C. And we're going to grab this book list ID as well. So I'll say var to store another variable and we'll call this book list camel case equals document dot get elements. And by the way, when you see it ghosted like this, this is Chrome developer tools just helping you out. And what you can do is tab to get to the end of that method and it's gonna fill it out for you. So in the parenthesis, again, we're gonna paste in this ID that we want. And if we click enter and then type out book list, we can see that that book list div has been stored inside this variable. So again, if we wanted to now, we could say book list and then some kind of method to change the content or the HTML or the style of this element right here. And we're gonna see all of that later on. So there we go, there's how we can reach into the DOM and grab an element by ID. In the next tutorial, what I wanna do is show you how we can go in and grab multiple elements like classes 
or any kind of tag name. So I'll see you in that tutorial.